in the mechanical engineering department at Georgia Tech, two students challenged each other to see who could swim faster. Christopher Pinto, a trained swimmer, was very confident about his imminent victory over the unknown swimmer, Savir Siddiqui. Man, I really don't know what happened. Like, I just keep losing. <laughs> you just gotta keep up, man. Don't blow it up next time. Back in his dorm, a disappointed Pinto was seen lamenting to his friend. I don't know, bro. I don't know why I keep losing to Safir, man. I mean, I'm a better swimmer than him. I train more. I'm longer than him. I don't get what's maybe, going on. Maybe you should search ways of optimizing your swimming. That's a good idea, man. Alright, let me search for this. No, this isn't it. No, it's just a robot. That doesn't sound right. Hey, it looks like we have something here. Hey, it looks like we might be actually be onto something. Really? What'd you find? It says something about Struhal's number. In swimming, I mean... Well, that's something to do with, with fluids. You should probably go ask Dr. Alex for further information. Yeah, that sounds right. With high hopes, Pinto decides to gather his courage and go knocking on Professor Alexey's door. Can I come in? Come in? Once inside, Professor Alexey shows Pinto the application of Struhal's number in the optimization of swimming. The Struhal number was derived by Vincent Struhal, who was a Czech physicist specializing in experimental physics. The Struhal number is one of the dimensionless numbers that describes oscillating flow mechanisms. It can be important when analyzing unsteady oscillating flow problems. Struhal number is the product of peak-to-peak -peak amplitude and frequency, divided by the velocity of the object in study. The Struhal number represents a measure of the ratio of inertial forces due to the unsteadiness of the flow or local acceleration to the inertial forces due to changes in velocity from one point to another in the flow field. By simply doing a dimensional check, Struhal number is seen to be indeed dimensionless. Some mammals, for example dolphins, move at a certain cruising speed. Birds and butterflies fly at a certain cruising speed as well. The Struhal number plays a role as a tool to analyze the efficiency of motion. Quite interestingly, the Struhal number also plays a role in competitive swimming. The Struhal number for the average college swimmer is found to be 0.36. According to the research data presented in this slide, a smaller Struhal number corresponds to larger propulsive efficiencies. Propulsive efficiency is directly related to the speed of the swimmer. Research has shown conclusively that in order to achieve smaller Struhal number and thereby increasing the speed, Swimmers should reduce amplitude of the kick and increase the kick frequency combined with the increase of the angle of the knee during the start of the down kick. This suggests that a good swimmer should probably try the butterfly technique to achieve greater speeds in the water. Hey Pinto, by the way, did you end up going to Alex's office hours? Yeah dude, I went and talked to them and from what I understood, um, I think I can swim butterfly and it sounds like that's a better way so I could beat him. So I can actually beat him this time? Yeah. I really like that. Let's go out there and do it. Pinto re-challenges Safir to another swim-off.